Orthobiologics is a developing branch within regenerative medicine, using patients' own cells to help facilitate the repair and healing of the musculoskeletal system. While this may sound like something that is only possible in science fiction, it is in fact an incredibly safe medical field with a growing body of research. How can Gordon Ramsay help to explain how it works? Stick around and you'll find out. At Phoenix Health, we currently offer three different regenerative techniques. Platelet-rich plasma, or PRP, platelet-rich fibrin, PRF, adipose-derived stem cell aspirate transplantation, ADSC. PRP and PRF are both blood brace therapies, while adipose-derived stem cells are harvested from fat, most commonly out of a patient's anterior abdominal region, from the flank to the navel. What exactly do these treatments do, and what is different between them? Keep watching to find out. Imagine your knee or your joint as a kitchen with a whole bunch of ingredients in the pantry and in the fridge. These ingredients are your body's cells which it uses to heal and regenerate tissue. Now, most people know how to cook, but what happens if you become too tired, too stressed or just don't know which recipe to use? This is similar to when the body doesn't and cannot heal and needs help. Sometimes this is too demanding and you or your health care professional might choose to cut the joint out and replace it with an artificial prosthesis. In our analogy, this is like removing the kitchen and its contents, then replacing it with a kitchen based in a ship's container. It isn't an elegant solution, but it's functional. But what if we could hire in some extra help to get you cooking again, instead of remodeling the whole house? What if we could hire a Michelin star class chef? They could whip up a world class meal from only the ingredients on hand, there would be no longer a need to remodel the house. This is exactly what orthobiologists can help do for injuries or wear in your joints. Platelet-rich plasma is taken from the patient's blood by spinning it at high speed in a centrifuge, breaking the cells apart and separating them so that we can identify and take out the platelets, growth factors and white blood cells. These are the ingredients that help the tissue heal. Our PRP is approximately six times more concentrated than that that is found normally in the blood, and the current research suggests that a concentration of between five to seven times is needed to have the best effect. Once we have our PRP, then we inject it into this injured or damaged tissue. Imagine if Gordon Ramsay were transported right into your kitchen at home. He would be able to work wonders with the food and the instruments that you have on hand. The biggest limitation is that he can only work with whatever you have in the kitchen already. But what happens if there isn't any power, or the fridge and the pantry are empty? This tends to be the case in more advanced chronic diseases or injuries, in particularly older patients. As we get older, especially over 50, we start to use up the stem cells we have in our body. But luckily, we still have a rich supply of stem cells available in bone marrow and fat. Fat is actually very easy to access and the research is indicating that there could be up to 1,000 times more stem cells in fat than in bone marrow aspirate. This makes adipose tissue the natural choice as the source of stem cells. The stem cells found in adipose tissue are called mesenchymal stem cells, which are the precursor cells to muscle, fat, bone and cartilage and can be used by the body to build new tissues. In addition, the latest research suggests that these stem cells also have an effect on local irritation and inflammation. When we inject these stem cells and other cells around them into an injured or worn joint, it is like transporting Gordon Ramsay with his kitchen and all his supplies directly into a hungry house. Sounds amazing, right? As with everything, there is a cost to this transplantation. With all these new ingredients and equipment, we need more power. And so PRP and possibly PRF has to be used to stimulate growth and repair. Often one to three injections are needed after a stem cell transplantation. This type of treatment is showing increasingly positive effects on patients and every week we're helping patients with arthritis in their knees, hips and shoulders, tendon and ligament ruptures, inflammation in the arms, legs and feet, 
nerve damage and even patients with disc herniations. It is an incredibly exciting time and while we are constantly following the latest research, we are proud at Phoenix Health to be pioneering new methods and offering new generation treatments to our patients today.